everyone and welcome to Red United TV. It's your boy Ivor and Spice back at it again with another match reaction. And remember guys, if you're new to the channel, remember to subscribe, smash that like button guys and remember to share across all your media platform guys. Ah, guys, today it's Manchester United 1, Sheffield United 2, Yes, Sheffield United chefed us up today, guys. 2-1, three points dropped. Sheffield United winning at Old Trafford for the first time in 48 years. Yes, they have done a number on us, guys. I am so pissed off. I am hurt. I know you Mancunians are pissed off too, you Manchester United holics. It was just horrible. The whole performance, atrocious, guys. Atrocious. And I have to say, just couldn't get started. Slow, slow, slow performance today, guys. Everyone just at blame at cost. I can't blame management because at the end of the day, today was down to the players. And today, guys, the players never performed. And as right now we sit second, it's just now just losing the game. And it was coming, guys, because we just can't start games just going 1-0 down. And today it has cost us guys it has really cost us we have dropped points we're sitting second we got arsenal on the weekend does it look good for us is it a good stop for the week for us guys no it's truly ain't let's dive straight into the match guys because boy 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 conceding that first goal what the hell was going on defensively set pieces this zonal marking i am super tired of it ollie and the guys, just stop it. Stop it. But then again, it was the fault of David De Gea. De Gea just couldn't hold his ground. Whether or not he was impeded by Billy Sharp, I don't give a damn. Because I don't I don't care whether you've got pricked by Luko Sharp. Bruv, handle it, bruv. De Gea, you should have been able to handle it. At the end of the day, it goes down to a David De Gea the mistake. Whether or not you want to blame the way we were set up defensively for that corner, Boy, you can say whatever you like, but at the end of the day, it has to go down to the goalkeeper. It just wasn't strong enough. Just wasn't. In that first half, as soon as we conceded that goal, boy, oh boy, oh boy, guys. As usual, we just struggled to break the line, break between the lines of Sheffield United. Like I said, if it was a line of coke and we had to sniff that line of coke just to break it, that line would still be there after we just attempted to sniff the line of coke. It will still be there intact because, boy, we cannot break that line of coke. We suck. You just be sitting there with powder on your nose, bits of powder on your nose, but the line is still intact. Jesus. And they're going down 1 0 at half time. Ah, they're thinking, nothing's happening for us. Are we really going to lose? Are we going to lose today? I, I can't go back to work tomorrow and just be the losing team. No, no one's going to banter with us. I do not want to get bantered. Oh my, oh my, oh my, we did get bantered today. Oh my, oh my, oh my, and guess what? At the end of the day, we was looking like we was going to be the bantering team because as we got into a second off, yes, Harry Maguire equalised. Fantastic corner by Alex Tellers. Own goal by Axel to Santa Bay with Sheffield United scoring that second goal to make it 2-1. Yes, we are the bantering team right now because we've lost to the shittest team in the league. 20 games in, they've won their first game, you know. Come on, the worst team in the Premier League. And you know what? They were depleted. They were a team with six subs. They couldn't even make the minimum seven subs as you normally have. Knowing that we have nine subs, they couldn't even meet that. They had six subs and we lost to a team like that. Oh, Jesus. Man United fan, I am done out here, bro. Because I'm just pissed off. I, I thought that, we, yes, this is another time to make a marker of whether or not we want to win this league. And I'm buying into this. I was buying into this. But guess what? Back to life. Back to reality. That's what it is for us. Because we've got a very important game against Arsenal. And it's really important because we cannot lose to Arsenal. Those scumbags, no way, guys. You do not want to see Arsenal beat us. You uh, Definitely not. But Manchester United, Alex. Overall, let's just soldier it on. Wake up tomorrow. Call in sick if you have to. You know, whatever you want to do with your partner today, do your thing, bro. Get the stress out, bro. 
don't back out the drink because it's a Wednesday. It's, it's not Thursday. If it was a Thursday, Friday, Junior, I say back out the drink. But you got work tomorrow, guys. Anywho, anywho, don't give the match day, guys. It has to be the whole team because the whole team did not get started. Like other players were poor, mistakes was happening. We conceded back from David De Gea's mistake. Also an own goal as well. And I saw that own goal coming. It was coming. So definitely the whole team is a donkey of the match, including the coach and stuff as well, for not making the right substitution at the right time. Taking too long. Jeez, I would have put on Cavani and Van der Beek on at the same time. But boy, I am not the manager. Manchester United Holiday, this has been your match reaction from Ivor and Spice. You get me, guys? Just soldier it on until we play those pussios, Arsenal on saturday guys as always remember to subscribe smash that like button as always remember to share this to people you don't like people you do like your ops as well of course you rival fans share it right now because we're bleeding right now my heart is bleeding you ops you get me as always remember to follow the official instagram account which is red united tv one baby and also follow my accounts as well my personal which is ivory underscore spice for the Instagram and also for the socials. And as always, guys, at this moment, try to keep it united and remember to keep it red united. I'm out.